Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, it's Friday. We made it through another week um, and we should get this finished today. There's no reason now why that shouldn't be finished. I've done all the wiring, all the plugs are done. The leftover loom is down there um, <clears throat> and the owner's going to take the rest of that um, and he's going to see if he can, he can get a bit of quid out of it. Anything really just to try and get some money back from this car, but we should as well be able to get this MOT'd. I'm gonna book one this morning to see if I can get it through this afternoon. <clears throat> um, they're normally pretty good, they normally just slot me in when they can, um, you know. So hopefully, we'll get one this afternoon, we'll get this done, finished off, cleaned, everything. But also, I want to have a really good go at those brakes because the discs and the pads. I want to strip it all back, uh, clean it all up, and then, you know, just freshen it up, give it a good service, basically. So let's get cracking. Let's do this. Right, I'll tell you what guys, this is going really, really well. So um, the bumper itself uh, is all back together. All the trims, all these little pieces of rubber, they've all been sort of put in place. All the lights work. I've checked it all over. It's all been done up. The only thing I haven't done is the arches on both sides. I think connecting them back up. We've got the new one over here. Still got the new splash guys to go in, but we've got the new one here. Comes with all the clips, um, but I might have to. What I might have to do is I might have to rob a couple of clip, clips from that one to put onto that side to make that a bit more secure. Um, but we'll see how we go with that. But I don't want to do that until um, it's on the ground, um, so that I can. Yeah, it's a lot easier when it's on the on the ground because uh, you've got the clearance to work around. Because I need to get to that corner where I've jacked it up. So. I think the next step really is going to be get the brake system sorted out. So I want to strip down the front completely, take off the the, the all the carriers, um, get the can I get discs off. How do these discs come off? I think this this bolt is holding it on. This bolt might be holding it on, and that bolt there I think is holding it on as well. But yeah, I think I want to take the discs off um, if I can take all the carrier off, get all this stripped down completely um, and then cleaned up and then redone with, um, you know, copper grease and really clean up the front. 
to see if that is going to be our issue. But it could be. It needs new discs, but I don't know yet. So, yeah, let's crack on with the brakes. Get it stripped down, see what they're like, and we'll go from there. I'll set you up. Let's do this.
Right, okay guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I've completed it. <laughs> this has taken some time to do and complete, but there's just loads of bits and pieces around. Do you know what I mean? But um, it's, uh, it's definitely getting there now. Apart from a good clean inside and outside, and obviously the, the dreaded MOT, which we're going to fit in this afternoon, um, yeah, we're done. We're done. Everything's been put back on. All the new, you, know, you can tell the new trim <laughs> on the arch is there compared to the rest of the plastics. Um, but by the time you clean it uh, and you maybe back to black the rest of the, all the plastics both sides, then um, you know it should be it should be all right. Um, <clears throat> I did have a mess around with the brakes. I'm not a hundred percent confident with these discs. I've got to be honest. So because what happens is. Um, nine times out of ten, the cars get stuck at the salvage auctions and just sit there. Um, and, it, and it has an effect on the discs and the pads because they get seized to each other when the rain, when it's not being driven. Do you know what I mean? So I'm really not 100% sure. Um, I have spoken to the owner and he's basically turned around and said, look, do the best you can for them uh, all round, which I have. Let's see what the MOT uh, comes back with. They might say an advisory on those discs, but he is already uh, really, really in the hole when it comes to this car. Um, so he, if he can, if he can, if he can do without spending it on more discs and pads all round, I think he, he he would prefer it. So yeah, it is what it is, though. Do you know what I mean, guys? Like, don't get me wrong. If they need doing, they need doing. But I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because they're all right. They're good condition. They just feel like they're binding a little bit. So that, that's to me, seems like they're, they're, they've been sitting around for a, quite a long time. And because this was not bought from Copart and your normal salvage auctions like Cynic, this was not bought from that, those kind of auctions. Uh, it was a bought from some guy on eBay that sells salvage cars. So... Uh, yeah, who knows how long this car has been sitting with them. But anyway, we'll get it through the MOT. We'll find out what's going on, and then we'll go from there. Um, let's get this out of the way, uh, and I need to go over to the paint shop to collect the Fiesta bonnet and bumper because they're ready to collect. So let's get this out of the way, and I think get the Fiesta inside and carry on the rest of the day with that Fiesta. But um, so far, so good, and I'll let you know what happens in a little while with this MOT. So, yeah, let's do this. Right, okay, guys, so the Fiat 500X is outside, and I've bought the Fiesta inside um, because I've collected the parts from the paint shop. They're here. Um, obviously, we've got to put all the grills and, that, and sort out all the bumper, Bonnet can go straight on, um, and then we we'll can have a little look to see what the colour match is like. But I think it's going to be pretty good as per normal. I think I'm going to have to clean and polish um, the other areas, like the two wings on both sides, the uh, the the you know these um... <laughs> I can't think what they're called. Um, these pieces. <laughs> need to be um polished as well and the wings and stuff um i still can't think what they're called um but you, i put it into them so you know what i'm talking about um yeah i've just gone complete blank um i've just got so much gone on today absolutely crazy do you know the um the white um ka someone um has just come around test drove it bang sold wanted it yep definitely um, only because they've been watched the videos <clears throat> on my channel. It's the only reason why they bought it, because they can see the repairs, what goes into it, what's been done. Uh, and yeah, they, uh, they, they, they appreciate the work and the effort that goes into it. So that's now sold, but we can move on to the Fiesta. So much, so busy today, absolutely crazy for a Friday, but let's keep going. Um, 
let's get this bonnet swapped over and then we'll do the trims and everything for the bumper. Uh, I've got to go to the MOT centre at 2 o'clock for the Fiat 500X. Got a bit more time for, that, for now. Let's just keep, keep going. Let's just crack on with this. Let's do this. Right, okay, guys, look at that. So, um, it's actually looking pretty good. I've got to be honest, the colour match there. How good's that? So, yeah. I was a little bit unsure, but I've got to be honest, looking at it now, it's a pretty good job. A really good job. He does really well, doesn't he, this painter? Um, so, this side looks a little bit different, I think, because um, it needs a good uh, clean and a, and a flat down polishing, really, compared to the other side. Or, this side's been painted before. But looking at like, like that and that, I don't think so. I think it, this is the original. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm well happy with that. It's just, this is just definitely, definitely one of them days where you, you, you have to stop for a minute and go, am I really doing this much work? <laughs> and, and it's only half one. Like, th that's exactly what's happened. Um, it is half past one um, and I've done all this already. Um, and literally this really now, apart from putting the number plate on, this is ready for an MOT. I've got to be honest, it really is. So, um, 
but I don't think he's going to get it done today because it's two o'clock. The other one's at two o'clock, so that'll be um, quarter to three, three o'clock. I don't think he's going to get this in. He might, he might come in tomorrow. Sometimes he does come in on Saturday morning, so he might get this in for me tomorrow. Um, don't really know, but let's just see what happens. But so far, this car is getting fixed so, so quick. Um, I think this is only the second part I've spent on this, isn't it? Or was it the third? I can't remember now. I think it's two or three. I think I've only spent two or three days on it. I think the inside's completely finished. Normally, I don't do the inside before it goes to the paint shop, but because I took the bonnet and the bumper to the paint shop so they can paint it separately, this has turned out so much quicker. Um, so, yeah, but I've got about 15 minutes and then I've got to shoot off to the MOT centre with the 500X. So, let me go and have a bit of something to eat, bit of drink, bit of food, and then I'll go and take it and then when I come back, I'll show you the results on that. So bear with me, guys, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay, guys, I am back from the MOT Centre. Let me show you the results on this one. I had a funny feeling this was going to happen. We have got some advisories. Um, and as you can see, it's all to do with the discs. So all-round discs. And that's because... We've got a pass, but all the advisories there on just the disc. No pads, because the pads are quite thick still all around the car. It's just those um, those discs. And that's because of it was sit, been sitting around for so long. Um, already, as you can see, it's all starting to, starting to shine up. You can see it there, look. They're already starting to shine up. So, um, you know, it's already um, helping and working. And the MOT guy said, look... After after you drive this around, it will go back to normal, and you know all that will be gone. Uh, the pitting and and the, and the, uh, the the rusting and all that sort of stuff, it'll be gone. But it just needs a good drive, and it should be uh, literally. It hasn't been driven much whatsoever, has it? It's been sitting here for months and months and months, and it's been sitting at the salvage auction for months and months and months. So it just needs a good run around. That's all it needs. Um, and he did say that. He said, "Look, if you drove it around." for a month or so, you, it would be fine. But because you have, it's not MOT'd, you, you can't. So, <laughs> yeah, it just needs to get done. So he gave, me, gave us a pass, but we have got advisories um, on the, all, all the discs <laughs> all around the car. Um, but that's it. He said it was a great car, no, lovely little car, um, and nothing else needs doing to it. It's just just because it's been sitting about... So, yeah, that's it, guys. This should be the last we see of this car. Literally, it needs a clean inside and outside. Uh, and I did say to the owner about just sort of taking it down to, you know, down to the, the you know, the car washers, the bozos or whatever. Uh, let them um, crack on, clean it inside and out, a little mini valet. And this will absolutely shine and ping and re look really, really smart car once, once, you, once you do that. Um, I think I will give it a clean before um, I give it to him, you know, just try and clean up as much as I can. But I think taking it to one of those clean parks or whoever, let them go all over it in and out, uh, and it'll it'll really sort of um, yeah, it'll be a nice car to, uh, to 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 have. So yeah, there we go. Right, that's the end of this project. We're done. We're finished. Um, we've got loads of wiring <laughs> left over from the loom, but we needed it. Um, we have got some bits and pieces for the bumper, some lights. He's going to try and sell those as well, get rid of those. Just just try and get rid of them and sell as much as he can. But, yeah, we are finally there. It is finished. Um, let's move on to the Fiesta because um, I have spoken to the MOT Centre and they've said they can get us in tomorrow morning on this one. Um, so it should, yeah... Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, which is Saturday. So, yeah, really sort of pushing it in a minute. But let's continue with this because I want to start cleaning up um, the car now. So I'll take the wheels back off. We'll give the wheels a clean. Um, and then we'll put the wheels back on, bring the car outside, clean it on the outside because the inside is, is absolutely immaculate. The inside is really, really nice condition. Nothing, 
nothing needs to be done on the inside uh, whatsoever. So, yeah, a really, really nice clean car at the minute on the inside. <laughs> but let's get the outside done because that's a bit filthy. So let's get the wheels off. We'll start with that. And then, um, yeah, start cleaning this up. Let's do this. Right, okay, so guys, there we go. Um, all the wheels are looking absolutely spotless now. It looks really, really good. Um, especially with the new discs and pads. It just, uh, yeah, it just sets it off. It looks really, really cool. But what a little beauty this car is. Look at it. Such good condition now. Um, but it's just a shame it's got that Cat S uh, against it rather than the Cat N because there's no way that this is structurally damaged and who knows um <laughs> everyone's got their little theory about why this was a cat s and why it won't a cat in but at the end of the day um the category should reflect the car and if it doesn't you know not just because maybe it's had previous damage that then it should have a bit a different category um but uh yeah it's a shame it's got the cat s but it is a cat 
It is completely done, apart from the MOT. MOT is tomorrow morning, and um, I will let you guys know exactly what happens with that on Monday. But, yeah, a right nice, tidy little car, uh, especially being a 1.2 petrol, um, and it's the five doors. Well, it's uh, a real, yeah, it's a real desirable car, and it's, um, yeah, it's definitely not going to hang around this one, for sure. Um, but yeah, we are complete. What a day. What a day we've had. Um, done so much today. I'm, I'm sh surprised and shocked myself. I've got to be honest how much this, this video, um, how much I've got done in this one video today. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's good. It's nice that, you know, every now and then things just fall into place, things that you have in mind that you plan for, um, and I'm always planning probably two or three days in advance uh, of what I'm doing, just because, you know, it, it takes out the, sometimes, hopefully sometimes it takes out uh, any problems that, that can come up uh, if you plan ahead, um, and that's what I've always done, I've always liked to plan ahead what I'm doing, no matter what I'm doing. So there we go, that's enough waffling, that's enough work, I'm going to get home, um, watch the uh, the, well, the ladies World Cup um, review uh, the highlights from that. Have a few beers um, and maybe have a takeaway. Just treat myself. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, that's it. It's Friday. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you Monday. Take care. See you soon.